And welcome back everyone. So today I'm going to give a quick install guide on how to set up the DDT for all software. Um, before you start, obviously you are going to need a laptop. Um, you are going to need the so the DDT for all software, which is open source. Um, just Google it uh, and it will come up. So you need the software. You will need the Renault database. Now the one I'm using is from 2017 and it works perfectly well on, on my car. Um, how you get that software is up to you. Um, I will put a link in the description to a website where I paid a small amount of money uh, for a, a download link. Um, like I say, there's obviously ways and means of getting it, uh, but I leave that up to you. And also, you will need an Elm 327 device uh, to connect your laptop to your car. Um, there's different versions. There's Bluetooth versions, Wi-Fi versions. Um, but I use the USB hardwired version. Um, mainly because of the connection is a lot more stable um, and less variance uh, to go wrong. Um, it just makes it easier and, and less chance of things being corrupted. Um, what I will do is I will put a link in the description uh, to the one that I'm using, which is currently at the moment it's about £20, I think, um, but it works perfectly fine. Um, and it's not Chinese version that will break and not, not connect to your car. Um, the only thing is with the M327 devices, it must have the 25K80 chipset, um, otherwise it will not work on the car. So with this, what we need to do, is I've already downloaded the, obviously the database and the, uh, and the software. Um, but once you've downloaded it, obviously just click on the install it, Okay, so skip forward a couple of minutes because no one wants to watch a green green line go along the screen. Um, you will get this message, uh, which is just to remind you that you have to add the database that you want to the root screen of the DDT software. Okay, so to do that, what you need to do Now, with the software, you'll get basically once you've downloaded the software, you'll you'll you get all of these folders. The main ones you're looking at is the ECUs, but I tend to just copy and paste all of these. And what you need to do is you find the root menu of the software. So I'm going to go into your, your C drive if you're using obviously Windows, into Program Files. Um, DDT for all and then right click and then you're just going to paste it if you notice on the screen at the moment you didn't have well you do now because it's just popped up but beforehand you didn't have an ECU's folder now obviously if you download the ECU's separately you will need to create a ECU's folder in the root menu which is just simple sort of right click create folder name it ECU's and then copy and paste the ECU's into that folder. Now, because um, with this database that I've downloaded, it's already there nicely packaged and it's just a copy and paste. Um, it makes it a lot simpler because you, like I say, you just copy and paste it across into the root menu. Um, and that's that. Okay, so again, we've skipped forward a couple of minutes because no one wants to see uh, a green line go up the screen. Um, but that's all the database and that now loaded into the main screen. So you should be able to click out of there. Okay, so once that's all installed, um, you're ready to go. So plug the uh, Elm 327 device into the OBD2 port on the, in the car. Obviously USB into the USB. Give it a couple of minutes for the uh, drivers to kick in. Um, if it doesn't um, see the device, and you might need to... Uh, just Google um, Elm 327 uh, device drivers. Um, there's a couple of packages that pop up. Just download them um, and it enable the uh, driver to work. Uh, but once you're ready, just click on the uh, start menu. Okay, so 
mainstream will pop up. Obviously, I'm using the USB, so you click on USB. Um, obviously, mine, mine says USB serial port. If you've got the Bluetooth device or so on, um, yours will come up with a list underneath there of the devices that are installed. Uh, click down here where it says I'm aware that I can harm my car if I badly if, if badly used um, that's not an idle threat um, you can severely mess up your car if you muck around with the software um, but there we go so you click on that and then you go into connected mode Okay, so once um, that'll pop up, this screen will pop up. It says connected. I'll just make it full screen. Um, then what you want to do, click on the little search menu or the little uh, magnifying glass, and that will say how would you like to connect to the car. Now, um, with the scan options, you are going to use CAN. So click on CAN. As you see down the bottom here, it says it starts scanning, so on and so on. Um, and basically it go through all the different things it can and can't sort out on the car. Takes a couple of seconds. Um, then what will happen here, um, in the second box here, it will auto populate. Um, all the different uh, modules um, and parts that we can go into to modify. Almost there. Okay, so you can't really see it on here very well, but there is in the yellow the bits and bobs. Now, I'm going to click on this one. So once you double click on the bit that you want to fit, uh, change. And then basically what will happen is in the third box it should auto populate um, when it comes up. The different parts that you can then adjust in that so I've gonna gone, gone for the EMM Edison um, I'll have a look down the bottom I think if I'm right that's where the wipers were um, I'll quickly show you how that looks um, this is just being really slow um, I should have probably plugged my laptop in instead of just running it on the battery now um, let's have a look on here So I'm going to scroll down. Yeah, so I'm going to scroll down to wiping and washing. This is just say, um, if you if you uh, look at my um, auto uh, wiper uh, video, um, this is basically where I go into it. So um, like I say, top screen. You don't really need to worry about the top screen if you plugged into your car. Second screen, it lists the modules that you can adjust, and the third screen expands on those modules. So I'm going to go into um, EMM wiping and washing. So what you'll see in this screen, this here is the main screen um, that you will uh, change. Now my auto wiper setting is already on from when I adjusted it the other day. So but what you would see normally if you haven't already turned it on is um, it would say zero and zero. Um, so it will read as um, it's not installed um, and then when you want to write it um, you need to have changed it. So what you would do is just click click in there like I have where the one is. That would be on zero. Delete it, backspace it, delete it, change that for a one. And then once you've done that, what you then need to do is go in to, I can't push, I won't push it now, um, but what I will do is do a, uh, I put a screenshot up there, is click on the Einstein button, 
click on that and that will go into uh, change mode as it were or advanced mode and then all you then do is once you've made the adjustments that you want to change hit send and then in the bottom screen it will start loading up saying it will send the files and once you refresh it will pop up uh, it read it as it's there and it's on and it should write should have one one read and write um so that's basically i'll just come out of there now um so that's basically the quick how-to guide on how to set up uh, the software um obviously if it was useful give me give the video a like please subscribe to the channel i've got a lot more videos coming up um i've got the ambient light in full ambient oem lighting installed for the smart for four um, as well as the uh, fog light install uh, with active uh, turn assist. Um, so if there is any other coding videos that you want me to do um, or talk through, put put comments put a comment in the comment section and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. And obviously I will do a, a few more um, how-to uh, videos on how to do the coding or on the car. So if you have got any questions and that, give me a shout. Um, obviously, like I say, please like, subscribe to the channel. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.